anytime you're filming yourself it gets pretty tough but I couldn't get anybody to go with me this afternoon and the situation is a little bit too good to pass up I actually slipped in this area the other day and saw a pretty pretty solid looking buck I, I don't know exactly how big he was but I do know that he was well above 130 which is plenty big enough for me 120 is big enough for me but I'm gonna slip in there this afternoon and try to do my dangness to actually film myself taking this animal I've got a, a large camera that I do all my freelance videography work for or with it ought to get interesting actually what happened was I found this oak tree and the deer had just been smashing and I went in there and there's so many oak trees that they're just kind of spread out everywhere so what I did was I went in there and put a little bit of corn around this one oak tree just sweetening up the spot and see if I can't drag these bucks out and stick it over there to where they'll feed over to where I'm at I spouse me up about three thousand dollars and I got me a golf cart. I got that son of a gun jacked up. I got me some good tires. I got me a flip down back that I can use to haul people or gear, however I want to do it. And this thing is the dope now. It's just sneaky up in these woods. And I didn't have to spend no eight or ten grand. That's a tip right there if I ever heard one. back from my other stuff here in a minute. My tree stand's only about 150 yards out here and then I'm gonna come back, grab the my rest of my camera equipment, move the cart well out of the way. I got my boots scent proofed and everything so I shouldn't have any problem there. Maybe it'll take me three trips. It's a lot of crap. A whole lot of crap to carry. But it's gonna be worth it if everything goes right. Oh, we for dang sure want that hit the ground. the next hard spot. I've already worked up a sweat. Always make sure that it's locked in right there. Because if you don't, camera goes to the ground. First rule of thumb, always have great audio. 
and the Mountain Dew. This right here is called a Barazoom. This is the most key ingredient to any videographer's work. Smooth zooms. And it's got to record. I've got my camera right here. I can get down in the, the viewfinder and actually sit back and watch everything very easily. Now, now we're set on go. Boy, those stairs slept right in on me. Here comes that little buck. A little old fork, you don't want It's early too, it's only about 3.30. It don't get dark, dark till about 7. It, it, it's fixing to be one of those days. This right here is exactly what a videographer is all about. This is freaking awesome. He's looking at another deer. Here comes another buck. Good lord. That deer on the move now. Big old dog. Now that right there, those little bucks down there, that's pretty awesome. Things are looking really good for this afternoon. I might accidentally get lucky. Here comes a buck. He looks like a decent buck. He needs about two more years. It's going to take me forever to get all this stuff out of the tree. <laughs>